CJ. My producer is Denny, and between the two of us, we're redneck rock hounds. What I'm going to show you today is how to drill an agate. Um, I have been collecting agates, petrified wood, jaspers, all kinds of pretty stones almost all my life. I like making them jewelry, into jewelry that shows the beauty of nature. <clears throat> so what I've chosen today is a fortified banded agate. And because of this little crack right down here, we're going to be drilling it up here. Because this little crack would actually break when you drill it. So this is the more stable area of the stone. So my tools. What I, what I use is a Forndum type uh, drill. It is pretty self-explanatory. It has the on-off switch, and then it's got a variable speed. I keep it about two. That's, I think they said 20,000 RPMs, something like that. To me, it just works. <coughs> on, to, on it, it has a flex shaft. And right here is where you put the bit. And what I'm using today is a diamond embedded tip drill bit okay it's about a one millimeter and what you do is you bits come in all cut all different shaft sizes and this right here is an umbrella tip that little brass tip and that kind of helps you size it to the right size. We're going to put the cover back on it. There we go. Now I'm going to put the forndum aside for right now. We'll put the bit in in a minute. I want to talk about the bits. You can buy bits for many different prices from $4.99 all the way up to $136 a set. It depends on how much you want to spend. I buy mine at Harbor Freight, comes in a set. Real convenient, because my Harbor Freight is right down the street. <laughs> um, but when you're on the beach and you find these really beautiful stones, and you're like, oh, that's so gorgeous. You take it home and you wonder what you're going to do with it. Well, I have a tile saw also. So I cut them, make them thinner to where they're ready to be tumbled in my rotary tumbler. And then after they're tumbled, they're set to drill, which is what we're going to do today. Now we're going to get the forndum again and the bit goes right in there and you, the, these little tools will come with your, uh, your forndum type drill and you got to kind of rock this around a little bit because when when it isn't in, it just sits there and rocks and back and forth. So you put it in that little hole and you kind of brace it and it'll snap in place, see? Just like that. And then you hand tighten it down and then they give you this little wrench and you tighten it down the rest of the way. You want to make sure it's tight because the drill bit will come out of the end of the Dremel and you really don't want that, not while you're drilling. Now, when you're drilling, you want to use water, okay? There we go. You want to use water. Um, what I do is 
I take a little bit of dawn, a little bit of dish soap, a couple of drops, and then I take a silicone spray. You put it under the water, and you give, just give it a couple of bursts. So both the soap and the silicone lubricant lube spray is both lubricants for your drill bit. You want to keep your drill bit cool because if you don't, well, the steel gets heated up and those little beautiful pieces of diamond which cut the rock, metal will not cut rock, those little pieces of diamond go bye-bye. They just, they leave the steel. Anyway, so now that we've got our water mixed up, let me mix it up a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> now, some people like putting it in the water like that and just holding it. Me, I like holding the drill, the bit, the rock in my hand and then drilling it. Okay, we're going to turn on the fondum. It's a little bit loud. There it is. It can get a little bit loud. But you want to dip your bit and your rock in the water. And you want to find your drill point. Notice I'm using the edge of the bit to create my hole because you want to keep the diamond on the end of the drill bit as long as possible because if that if you if you heat up the end of the drill bit you're going to be mashing steel against rock and steel won't go through rock and you just kind of rock it back and forth Oh, you've got your hole created and you can actually if when you hold on to it you can actually feel the heat in the stone itself so it'll tell you when it's hot kind of time to, to put it back in the water some people like I said some people like to hold it and drill it like this, which you can do. One thing I do want to mention, I bought, I use glass. Some people use plastic because it's not as loud. I like glass because, well, drill bits tend to not go through glass. And then also you can if you're curious to find out where you are in your stone, you can actually look on the other side and you can see the drill bit coming through. You can also hear, see, you can see where the drill bit is. And you can hear the drill going through and you can actually tell when you've gotten experience you can actually hear the difference the motor and the drill bit will sound different so then you take your drill bit and you clean up your hole the drilled hole just a little bit both sides Because that's where the diamond, the diamond on the side come in quite handy. To make your the hole even and regulated. And we're going to set this off. And there you have it. You have drilled a hole. Now it's ready to be wire wrapped or put a string to it, put a jump ring through it, a way to create a beautiful thing that's wearable. 
You can also make keychains out of them. You can make uh, sun catchers out of them. You can make mirror hangers out of them. There you go. Thanks for watching my video.